hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will learn the pole vector constraint this constraint is uh, used uh, in the joints and ikea handles so i would like to start uh, with the joints and then put ikea handles and then later go to this uh, constraint uh, so firstly i would like to go to an orthographic view which is the side view here and then uh, create a joint chain so i would like to go with the create joints option with the default settings and then just uh, start placing the joints there so first thing is i would like to click here by pressing x which will snap a, a joint at the grid and then i would like to place a joint here and then i would like to place a joint here and then lastly here so i'm just trying to give a limb sort of uh, effect here the leg part maybe so we got the joints here so we have a normal method of uh, you know bending the model one is uh, uh, sell, uh, we select the joints and we just uh, rotate them okay and then we can generally pose the joint as we wanted but uh, this could be very complicated when it comes to the limbs part so there is a way which can generally help us to pose the the limb here without you know moving too many joints so however while i was you know posing this joint i was rotating the joint number one then i'm selecting the second joint then i'm selecting the third joint i'm rotating it to get a pose there but uh, you could actually uh, use uh, ikea handles so if I pose this way, uh, this posing is basically called as uh, forward kinematics, FK. So I'm going to use uh, IKEA handle, which is uh, uh, there here um, in the skeleton section. So we have create IKEA handle option and we have uh, a single chain solver and then we have the rotate plane solver so firstly we will use the single chain solver and then uh, it is very simple to you know create the ikea handle you need a joint chain for that so already i have that so you need to select uh, the in, in the hierarchy you need to select the parent joint first so i'm clicking that joint and then i need to select the other joint so uh, ikea handle is not uh, required to Sell, you know placed in the immediate next joint because the purpose is not filled so i'm going to select this one here and then i just uh, uh you know click there and you get ikea handle so when i select the ikea handle here okay uh, when i select that and then move it you should able to see i'm able to move this uh, like a very organic and fluid uh, leg i'm just holding the ankle and I'm just moving it and the whole leg is getting posed by itself and that's really cool about this and uh, what is uh, not really uh, working here is uh, the knee joint is not able to you know twist so if I select the IK handle and uh, open the attribute editor and if I go to this uh, options uh, in the ikea handle uh, here you could able to see the there is option called pole vector and uh, this pole vector is uh, logged here it's not working uh, in the channel box you could see that pole vector and then when i modify this uh, pole vector uh, the by the value you don't see any change in the uh, knee part so i would like to uh, delete that uh, reset the joint chain I'm just changing the colors for you to see it uh, correctly so I'm going to select uh, uh, the other IK handle which is going to be the rotate plane solver okay so again I need to click the first joint then I need to uh, select the joint which is not immediately anything would do so I'm selecting this ankle joint and then if I just go to this uh, perspective view you could see a, a circle at the parent joint with a pointer uh, facing in a specific direction 
So when I select that uh, IK handle and move, the knee is bending that way. Okay. Uh, generally, it happened to the single chain solver also. But if I change the pole vector X value, and then if I move it, this time the knee is bending in this direction. So pole vector is basically used to, you know, twist the knee in any direction we wanted it to. Okay, so um, generally it, it should be done uh, in the direction of uh, the knee. Uh, so here it X was working. So Y there is no use and then Z there is no use. But if, you're, if your character is aligned in a different angle, maybe you will have to do um, use the other uh, direction. So here X is only working. So I'm going to delete the IK handle, reset the orientation back to the default position. Now let me uh, create a IK handle once again. I'm going to create a IK handle and make sure that you're using RP solver. So once you have created that, now every time we don't go there and modify the pole vector. Instead, what we basically do is we create a control. So preferably we use the curves. So I'm selecting the curve. I'm point snapping here. And then I'm going to move it there like that. Okay. So make sure that uh, this is freezed. I'm freezing the transformation. And then I need to select this control. Okay, we call this as a knee control. So I'm selecting the knee control and I'm selecting the IK handle and I'm going to use this pole vector constraint. Now, before going into that, you should able to see the pole vector attributes are unlocked. They are not they're free. In fact, so I'm selecting the control first and then I'm selecting the IK handle. Then I'm going to apply pole vector constraint and then you should able to see our IK handles pole vectors are now uh, controlled by a control. So you just you need to select that control and then move it and the knee uh, will face to the control anytime you move it. Okay, so this is used to control elbows knees of the characters. Uh, so it will be I mean, in generally, um, in IK handle, when we move, we are, you know, affecting our ankle uh, and uh, the knee and uh, the hip is rotating accordingly. But how I'm going to twist for that answer is what the pole vector is doing. So that's the pole vector constraint for you.